It's lunchtime in Yardley, the first lunch break of the new school year. We're trying to keep it light and fun. And with four kids in her house, she's not looking to add any more. I'm sharing the responsibility with two other moms, so that's helpful. Also, it's not just me. Raise your hand if you have a While her class setup is in her dining room, this isn't the only one room schoolhouse opening up this week. This is all the seventh graders. In Collegeville, uh, I've got two fourth graders right here. And two fifth graders. Hi, guys. Can you all say hello? Pods like Megan O'Connor's have to play by some different rules because she has more than six kids in her home. The state's Office of Child Development and Early Learning wants her to register. I had no idea. <laughs> None. The state says while it recognizes groups of neighbors and families are teaming up, it's not about tracking where you are. The state says pods and leaders or parents with four or more kids should have a health and safety plan, an emergency plan. They should also be following the zoning, building use and safety plans, as well as child protective services laws and make sure they have good communication with their families and not have more than 12 kids in the home. As for the rules, when it comes to a pod like Megan's... It doesn't change how we would do this. I'm not sure what they expect from us. In Yardling. Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.